This is an Ag in the Classroom experiment. It is written um, four, six through eight. I'm all going at the same time. I'm not sure. We were using different ways to show a chemical reaction, uh, showing how to, uh, carbon reacts with um, another substance to then show through the indicator. The purple cabbage was used as the indicator, and that indicator shows an acidic or an alkalinity substance. Turn it. Jump. 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 A lot of times with gases, they're clear. You can't see them. And so the indicator is there to let them know that something is taking place. And we have just recently learned that um, one of the evidences of a chemical reaction is a change in color. So that's what they were looking for mostly today. Acid in it and it's more organic. You need to be able to show them or let them discover through an experiment um, so that they can connect that to the concept they're trying to learn. A sandy soil or something? Because it's fun. They like that engaged, hands-on, being able to touch it, feel it, look at it, do it themselves, rather than someone tell them what concept they need to learn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One of the neat things about hands-on science, um, whether it's an inquiry or direct, directly led, with instructions is it causes the students to have to stop and think and learn to work with each other. Um, we all have to do that in life. As they start thinking of their career path, they're going to have to learn to work with other people um, in a lot of different aspects and areas of their career. So it's stardom now where they know how to actually get along and work together and do a group activity to get some learning involved and that's very valuable for my students.